Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwantner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Michael Scheer. He's the founder and president of Frontline Selling. Welcome, Michael. Nice to be here. Thank you. What is the secret for engaging very high level executives? The short answer is you just need to ask them. We find that a lot of, ex a lot of uh, account executives, telemarketers, people who do prospecting, they just don't start at the right level. They don't ask the, 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 the right people the, the right questions. They, that's, that's number one. Uh, number two is, is what do you ask them and, 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 and how often do you ask them? Okay, let's give you, let's make an, an example. Sure. Uh, I want to talk to the, the CEO of Sharing Plow. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Fred Hassan. I know him, I've talked to him, but let's say you're a sales rep and you want to get through to him. What do you do? Well, you have to have some kind of message, but the message is not the only thing that's going to be compelling. You, what you really need to do is, you, you really need. To, first of all, you, the first thing you need to do is pick up the phone and call him. And um, his name is Fred? Yeah. Yeah. So, Fred, uh, I can tell you that uh, Fred may... He will uh, never pick up his phone. Well, he, he, that's right. He, right. May, he may never pick up right. his phone. Uh, he, he may be one where he gives his administrative assistant a little more domain over his calendar or, or, or acts yeah. as a filter. Right. Um, and his calendar is booked six, uh, it, nine it, months it might in be, advance? It might be booked, yeah, uh, in, in, in advance, and we can anticipate that. Right. Um, he also may read email. He probably has a BlackBerry. Right. If, he get, if, if you can get an email to him, he'll get it twice. What, what you really need to do is understand that there's probably a number of people who are trying to call him and get his attention. Probably and, a few and, hundred. And, uh, for probably a few hundred. And what you really need to do is, is touch him a number of different times, a number of different ways. It could be, um, it could be via direct mail, it could be via email, th certainly through his administrative assistant. And even if he is not the person or his calendar's filled up, um, the one thing we do know, the higher you start, the higher you're going to end up. So if he does pass you off to somebody else, it's not going to be to a manager level or director level. It might be to another C-level, maybe the CFO or the COO. Michael, how about sending out just a simple letter? Perfect. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. What we do know is that pe different people respond to different types of communication mm -hmm. protocol. Right. Just like in a business to consumer right. environment. Some people watch TV, some people listen to the radio, some people read the newspapers, but McDonald's advertises through all three. So Michael, uh, when you train people to make those high level calls, what is some of the resistance uh, points that you encounter doing that training? One of the reasons we think they don't like to do it is because they think they know what to do, but they're not getting the, the results, so nobody likes to do something that they fail at. So what we do is we come in w and take a very different approach. We have three steps to our training program. The first one is to get all that conventional thought, the conventional wisdom, conventional bias out on the table. And then we start chopping down that conventional wisdom and to open up the, mind of, uh, the minds of, of the participants to, to think differently. The second thing we do is we introduce chapter and verse, a color by numbers approach on, on now that you're thinking differently about prospecting and the obstacles that, that are and are not there, here's an approach that makes sense. So there's a big difference between thinking I know it and, and the, the resolve to take action it, on that. Exactly. And so the third part of it is, is we, we bec and, and we can do this because we're not only a training company but an outsourcing company, we get somebody from our outsourcing part of the business, we get them on the phone and they make real live prospecting calls using the client's value proposition, calling their prospects, calling as them. And it is, it, it's, it's where the, uh, the rubber meets the road, it's where the aha moment where they say, hey, if they can do it and they don't know a whole lot about Right. our value proposition, right. then I certainly can do it. So what you're saying is that if you bring this down to the reality level, seeing is believing, and people buy in and say, if those people can do it, I can do it. Exactly, and that's the, the last part of our classes. Once they see that, there's no excuses. They right. can easily, we hand them those very same call right. scripts, the very same right. email scripts, and they go out and start making prospecting calls that very same day. Excellent. Thank you, Michael. And tomorrow we are going to continue our conversation. We explore how we can align sales and marketing to make this happen. Mm -hmm.